Not too long ago, I sunk countless hours into Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, a reimagining of the Sherlock Holmes series complete with a large open world and set in the island of Cordona. Sherlock Holmes The Awakened delivers more of the same gameplay-wise, but with some changes. The most noticeable difference is that you visit multiple countries on your travels, and you're traveling with your pal John Watson. Specifically, Sherlock and Watson travel to an asylum in Switzerland, the swamps of New Orleans, the cold waters of Scotland, and the streets of London, of course. You'll explore many different sub-areas as well, so overall there's great variety on display. However, even with these different locations to explore, the scope feels a little small. Perhaps the fact that the map remains mostly empty as you investigate has something to do with it. I was expecting side quests and other optional elements to participate in, but there aren't many at all besides the main case. My assumption is that the team at Frogwares had to cut scope for the release due to the invasion in Ukraine where they are situated, so hopefully it's not setting a precedent for future installments. There are a few supernatural elements in Sherlock Holmes' The Awakened, which task you with figuring out how to progress through very vague clues while using trial and error. In these segments, Sherlock is hallucinating and being called to join Cthulhu's cult. It was fun to be tasked with really scouring the area for any hint as to how to progress, even if it did get frustrating at times. Heck, even when you're not in the supernatural segments, you'll run the risk of getting frustrated due to the lack of any kind of hint system, and wish that Watson would say something useful every now and then, instead of commenting on the weather. The main case in Sherlock Holmes' The Awakened is centered on the Lovecraftian figure Cthulhu, a maritime monster that lures its devout cultists to death. It was nice to see John Watson make an appearance here as he follows Sherlock during his investigation, providing him support and friendship as his mental state deteriorates, while Cthulhu draws him in through hallucinations. You also get to play as John sometimes, but he doesn't have any unique abilities and even lacks Sherlock's concentration skill. With that in mind, I thoroughly enjoyed dressing him up in fancy outfits. The main investigative gameplay is similar to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 with a few differences. You'll spend your time investigating crime scenes and putting things together to determine what happened and when while using your concentration to uncover hidden clues and digging through archives to find out more about a clue, as well as observing people to apply profiles to them. This is all familiar gameplay, but changes include a different take on the use of your mind palace and a new mechanic where you'll have to present specific clues to someone to convince them of something. These modifications don't do a lot to switch up the gameplay, but it's nice to see iterations on the original formula. Combat is missing entirely from Sherlock Holmes' The Awakened, and although I actually enjoyed it in the previous title, some fans will probably be happy to see it gone. Overall, the feeling of stepping into the shoes of Sherlock and Watson yet again was a lot of fun, especially when it all comes together after you successfully make the correct deductions within the first couple of tries. One thing that surprised me about Sherlock Holmes' The Awakened was how fast the game loaded when I switched areas as I barely found myself waiting at all. The great quality graphics are still there too, along with the perfectly fitting voice acting so it makes me happy that they didn't have to sacrifice load times to deliver such a high quality video and audio experience. Another surprise was how the ending felt quite rushed. In the final stage you'll find yourself doing a lot of repetitive tasks and making difficult choices, and if you make the wrong choice, you have to complete the repetitive task over and over again. It just wasn't fun, and felt like it was stretched out to make up for the lack of a rewarding ending. After all is put to bed and you're back at 221B Baker Street, the story ends quite suddenly without much fanfare, making all the troubles that the couple went through feel a little hollow. Sherlock Holmes The Awakened is a rewarding investigative experience with familiar gameplay, that has you play as both Sherlock and Watson as they follow the phenomenon of Cthulhu around the world while fighting to keep their sanity. Although it's smaller in scope than the previous title and is lacking in terms of side quests, it's still a fun journey and is presented beautifully to boot. Pros. Same fun crime investigation gameplay that'll delight fans of the series, enjoyable mystery to unravel, attractive sights and sounds.